In this video, I'm first going to show you how to safely trade options. And in the second half of this video, I'm going to put my bad boy hat. I'm going to show you how to trade options dangerously. But even though it's dangerous, it's enticing because it can generate so much cash flow. Before we get into the safer way to trade options, I just want to remind you that any type of trading and investing comes with risk. So although I'm first going to show you how to trade options in a safer manner, keep in mind that any type of trading, including option trading, has an element of risk that you want to be aware of. But first, how do you trade options safely? Here on the screen, you see a bullish put credit spread that we did in Amazon yesterday. Notice that we sold to open the October 20th $120 put option. We then bought to open the October 20th $90 put option for protection. That caps our max loss at $30 per share, or for this trade, $3,000. For this trade, we'll put a total of $0.82 cents per share, or $82 into our pocket minus commission. And as you can see here, it pays a really nice 40% annualized return on the capital we had at risk, or that $3,000. So why am I saying this was a safe trade? Well, here you see the daily chart of Amazon. At this white line, that's where we sold our 120 put option. Now I'm filming this video one day after we did this trade, and today's actually a pretty big down day for Amazon. Notice that along with the market, Amazon is down. In fact, it's down right at 4.2%. But yesterday when we did this trade, this $129 area had been serving as support for Amazon over the previous few days. I then noticed that just below that, around this $126 area, that area had previously served as support for Amazon. And then if Amazon broke below both those areas of support, I knew this 200 moving average, which is the red line here, would mostly serve as support for Amazon. Then our $120 strike price was below even that red 200 moving average. So we had several areas that would potentially serve as support for Amazon if it came down. And we see today, it's exactly what it's doing. It's coming down and it's testing that 126 area of support. And honestly, it doesn't look like it's gonna hold, but we still have several hours before the trading day is over. So that's one reason why I feel like this was a safer trade. We had multiple areas of support that if Amazon were to come down, they should serve as support. And that'd give us the opportunity to either close the trade out early, if it ended up being a profitable trade that went our way fast, or if it went against us, those areas of support should give us some time to potentially roll the strike price down as we rolled it out. Now something else that made this a safer trade is notice how many contracts we did. We did only one contract. Now we had previously sold another cash or put option contract against Amazon. And in fact, to stay under my 5% maximum position size rule, I can actually add another two to three more put options to this position if I decide to do that. Now, with there being another big down day today, we're gonna hold off and see what happens with Amazon and where it eventually finds support. But we do have position sizing available to add to this short put option position in Amazon. Now, there's one more thing we did with this trade to make it what I call a safer trade. Notice the very bottom line of this trade here. Notice that we bought the Amazon October 20th $90 put option for protection. So we bought us some insurance. If the overall market in Amazon were to go way down in price, well, this insurance would cap our potential loss. So we sold a strike price that was two levels of support below where Amazon was trading at. We only did one contract and we bought ourselves some protection. And by the way, we're trading in a company that almost everyone watches this video probably knows and uses. But will this trade be a winner? Well, we don't know yet. But we've done several things to set ourselves up to potentially win this trade that makes this what I consider a safer trade. Now let me put on my bad boy hat. Let's shift gears here. Let's live dangerously. Let me show you a trade that is a dangerous trade, but it can be very enticing because there's a lot of cash that can go into your pocket. Here you see another potential trade we could have done in Amazon yesterday. See if you can find the three things that make this a dangerous, unsafe trade. But before we get to that, let me entice you here. Notice in the red box how much you could put into your pocket if you did this trade. Notice you'd be able to pocket over $51,600. And this trade has the same expiration day of October 20th. That is some big money for a short duration trade. Well, let's start up top. Notice up top where again, we're selling some Amazon options. So we're selling the Amazon October 20th, but notice we're selling the $125 put options. Why do I say that's a potentially dangerous trade? Well, it's because that's right where Amazon had previously found support, right around that $126 area. Now, there's nothing wrong with that trade. I've sold many options where the stock was trading at the money with the strike price of the put option that I sold. In an overall bullish or neutral market, that can be a good trade, and it's a trade I do a lot. However, with the market being down this month, and especially this week, by selling the 125 strike price put option instead of the 120 strike price, 
Well, it puts you at a higher risk of this trade going against you. In fact, if we look at the delta of this 125 strike price put option that expires in October, we see that the delta or the odds of this trade would be in the money at expiration is over 44%. But if you look at the 120 strike price put option, know that its delta is just over 28%. So it's a lot less likely that this 120 put option will be in the money expiration as compared to the 125. What else makes this a less safe trade or a dangerous trade? Notice how many put option contracts we've sold. Now remember, I've sold two total put option contracts against Amazon right now, and I said I had the ability to sell around two to three more. Notice how many put option contracts I've put this order in for, 150. Now if you multiply that 150 times the 100 shares that each contract equates to, and multiply that times the $125 strike price, if this position were to go against us, it would mean that we were on the line for $1.8 million worth of Amazon stock. So although we don't have to let this option be assigned to us, keep in mind that we are committing to buying 1.8 million dollars worth of Amazon stock if it were to decline. There's a lot of things you can do to potentially fix a put option position that goes against you. I'll leave a link to a video series above in the description below about repairing options, but you do want to keep in mind that you are on the hook to buy this much Amazon stock. So that looks kind of scary, doesn't it? But how big is my account? Why do I say this is scary? Notice here in the purple box what our margin requirement is for this position initially. Interactive Brokers is saying that we need just over $307,000 cash as a maintenance requirement for this position based on where Amazon is currently trading. Now remember, as Amazon moves around, that margin requirement will also move around and change. If Amazon were to come way down in price, that margin requirement would go way up and that could be a problem for us. As you see here in the blue box, in this account, we have just over $341,000. And remember the stock that we're committing to buy, if we had to, and we didn't adjust the position, is over 1.8 million. And this can be tough because as you see here in the red box, our broker's telling us that we can actually trade up to $2.3 million in positions. And that's with just $341,000 in cash. That's why I say this is a potentially dangerous trade. In fact, it's a very dangerous trade. There are so many things wrong with this trade that I wouldn't dream of doing a trade anywhere close to this. So the lessons we can learn from this are to make sure you have a position sizing rule and stick to that position size. No matter how much money you might be able to make, stick to your position size limit. You don't want to have most of your money in one stock. You want a nice diversified portfolio whether you're trading stocks or trading options. And then consider buying yourself some protection. If you're selling put options, consider buying a lower strike price put option to give yourself some insurance and to protect you in case the overall market and your positions go against you. And then when you're picking the strike prices you're selling your put options at, try to sell them below support. If you want to be safer, sell them below several layers of support. There are almost unlimited ways to trade options. I strongly encourage you to trade options in a way that will enable you to keep playing this game with us. If done properly, it's a very rewarding business. And we want you to keep playing this game with us forever. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how much option traders can potentially make on a monthly basis, Check out the video series of the link just above me entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flow. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.